Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. Regulation 34 of Annex 1 of Marple Convention talks about discharge criteria for oil cargo tank washing water discharge at sea. 1. The tanker is not within a special area. 2. The tanker is more than 50 nautical miles from the nearest land. 3. The tanker is proceeding en route. 4. The instantaneous rate of discharge of oil content does not exceed 30 liters per nautical mile. 5. The total quantity of oil discharged into the sea does not exceed 1 30,000th of the total quantity of the particular cargo of which the residue formed a part, and 6. The tanker has in operation an oil discharge monitoring and control system and a slop tank arrangement is required by regulations 29 slop tanks and 31 odmcs of this annex please remember within special areas the discharge of any oil or oily mixture from tank cleaning is strictly prohibited 2. special areas under marpol annex 1 currently the designated special areas under annex 1 include 1. the mediterranean sea 2. the baltic sea the Black Sea. 4. The Red Sea. 5. The Gulfs, area, Persian Gulf. 6. The Gulf of Aden. 7. The Antarctic area, south of 60 degrees south latitude. 8. The Northwest European waters. 9. The Oman area of the Arabian Sea. 10. The Southern South African Water. These areas require enhanced protection because of their geographical, oceanographical, and ecological conditions make them particularly sensitive to pollution. Regulation 15 of Annex 1 talks about control of discharge of oil from machinery space any discharge into the sea of oil or oily mixtures from machinery spaces of ships of 400 gross tonnage and above shall be prohibited except when all the following conditions are satisfied. 1. The ship is proceeding en route. 2. The oily mixture is processed through an oil filtering equipment meeting the requirements of Regulation 14 of this Annex. 15 ppm oil filtering system. 3. The oil content of the effluent without dilution does not exceed 15 parts per million. 4. The oily mixture does not originate from cargo pump room bilges on oil tankers, and 5. The oily mixture, in case of oil tankers is not mixed with oil cargo residues. 3. Rules for special areas. In special areas, the discharge of oil or oily mixtures from any ship, including tankers, is prohibited with very few exceptions, such as 1. The ship is proceeding en route. 2. The oily mixture is processed through an oil filtering equipment meeting the requirements of Regulation 14.7 of this Annex. Regulation 14. 715 ppm oil filtering system plus automatic stopping device. 3. The oil content of the effluent without dilution does not exceed 15 parts per million. 4. The oily mixture does not originate from cargo pump room bilges on oil tankers. For ships other than tankers, the discharge of processed oily bilge water from machinery spaces may be allowed if strict conditions are met. Tankers must not discharge any oil or oily mixture in special areas, irrespective of the equipment on board. Alternative disposal methods, such as reception facilities at ports, must be used for the residues and cleaning effluents. 6. Operational Best Practices To ensure compliance with MARPOL Annex 1. Plan tank cleaning operations meticulously. Conduct such activities in compliance with the ship's Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Plan SOPEP. Use port reception facilities whenever available, 
especially when operating in or near special areas. Ensure crew members are well trained in operating oil discharge monitoring and control equipment. Keep the oil record book updated with accurate entries for all tank cleaning and discharge operations. A ship on a voyage only part of which is in a special area shall not be prohibited from discharging outside a special area. 7. Consequences of non-compliance Violations of MARPOL Annex 1 regulations can result in severe penalties, including heavy fines for the shipowner, operator, and crew, detention of the ship at port, environmental damage, leading to reputational harm and loss of business opportunities. 8. Conclusion as future maritime professionals, your role in upholding MARPOL Annex 1 standards is crucial. By ensuring strict compliance with discharge regulations, especially concerning tank cleaning operations, you contribute to preserving the marine environment and fostering sustainable shipping practices. Remember, protecting our oceans isn't just a legal obligation, it's a moral responsibility. For more videos, subscribe Sailor360 and stay connected.